Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another interesting taste test. Today, I'm going to be tasting Oscar Mayer's Ice Dog, which is an ice cream sandwich composed of a bun flavored cookie top and then Dijon mustard spicy ice cream and candied hot dog ice cream in a sandwich form. So a couple weeks ago, I made a homemade French's mustard ice cream recipe in which you take a bunch of yellow mustard and you make ice cream. And since that's on my brain, it just seems kind of a natural fit to want to taste hot dog ice cream, right? But the only way to get this ice cream sandwich was about a week ago, the Wienermobile was driving around New York City handing these out for free. And of course, I live in Rhode Island, so how am I ever gonna get my free sandwich? There was another opportunity you could have submitted via Twitter a possible ice dog sandwich sent to your home. Of course, I did not win. So then I was actually considering making a DIY version of the ice dog since I still have my mustard flavored ice cream in my freezer. So I was doing a little bit of research and then I learned that Laboratorio de Gelato made the actual ice cream in the ice dog sandwich. And then I said, yes! because my dear friend John is actually the owner of Laboratorio Gelato. So I got in touch with him and I said, Dear John, do you have any sandwiches? May I try one, please? And then he immediately wrote back and says, What would you like? And I said, Yes, a sandwich, please. So today, in the mail, I got this. Here we go. John, thank you so much for sending this to me. I am super, super excited to taste this ice cream sandwich because how else would I have been able to taste it? I missed my opportunity to see the Wienermobile. I didn't win the contest. So thank you for this. So this is not the first time John has made my day. I will put the links down below to the videos I did a few years ago. The first one being I tasted 25 flavors of Laboratorio de Gelato's ice creams that came to my doorstep in little tiny containers, frozen to perfection. It was delightful. One of the best taste tests I've ever done. It's something I've always wanted to do, just taste every single ice cream. And I sat down and tasted 25 flavors. <laughs> it was sublime. And to celebrate my million subscribers, and to celebrate a million subscribers, John sent me another box of ice creams that were surprise flavors, so I didn't have any idea what I got in that box, and that was a delight as well. So check out those videos down below because it was just so much fun to do. Now today, in this box, I do not have 25 flavors, and I do know what's gonna be in here. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> ice dog sandwiches, along with two, Ice dog sandwiches. I have a container of hot dog flavored ice cream. <laughs> so since John included this, I'm gonna attempt to make a semi DIY version of the ice dog sandwich. Because I've got this and I've got the mustard ice cream, why not try to attempt to make a DIY version, right? John also included my favorite little gelato spoons. I love these. They're like little oars if I a little ship. So to make the DIY version, of course, it's not completely DIY because I received the original authentic hot dog flavored ice cream, which has candied hot dog pieces in it. The mustard ice cream, of course, is homemade, and I will put the link down below if you wanna see how I made that. Pretty simple, no churn recipe, very easy to make. So ice creams, check, check. Now what do I do for the cookie sandwich portion? So I thought, why not use some sugar cookie dough? So I rolled some of that out and I measured the actual authentic sandwich and cut those into rectangles. So after I cut the rectangles out of the dough, I took a toothpick and I pierced little holes in them to kind of emulate those holes when you eat an actual ice cream sandwich. Then I baked it at 350 degrees for about eight minutes when they're nice and golden. I let them cool completely and then I filled them with the ice cream. I let the ice cream sit on the counter for about five minutes and I used a spatula to cut really fat, thick slices. I took the cookies and placed them in the freezer to make sure they were really cold. And then I did the hot dog first and then put it back in the freezer. And then I did the mustard part. Then I put the whole sandwich back in the freezer and let it sit in there to kind of firm up. So that was the first version. The second version I used Lorna Dune, just store-bought sugar shortbread cookies and we'll see how those are. I think, of course, this is gonna be firmer texture, 
but you know, I thought, why not? Cute little square shape. And I did the same thing here. Instead of just baking my own cookies, I just used the shortbread. So I'm gonna taste the original first, and then I'll do my little dupes. Okay, let me go grab my little French. Dun, 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 dun. Ice dog. Before I taste this, actually I should mention because I know I'm gonna get comments. I'm not prego, by the way. I know this is an odd flavor combination. I know my dress is a blousy, but that does not equal pregnant. Oh, weird combination, blousy dress. Emmy must be pregnant. No, I'm not. Street cleaner going by. Hello, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, but I'm filming. Did, did, did any of you get a chance to try this sandwich? Let me know if you did and what you thought of it. Wow, here it is. Thick sandwich, look at that. The cookie wants to separate. Go back, well that's good, because now you can see in the PR photos, the mustard looks a lot brighter. In real life, it's a lot subtler. It's almost the same color as the cookie. Now we've got the hot dog side here, and these are the candied hot dog bits, and here's the mustard. So. I wish they did the little holes. The little dimples would have been cute. Very nicely made. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. That's not bad. The cookie tastes a lot like a sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. No, it's not as sweet as a sugar cookie, but there's definitely butter in there. It's supposed to be bun flavored. I kind of get that, but it's still sweet. It's nice. It's like a light kind of shortbread style cookie. A little bit more textured like a sugar cookie though, rather than a shortbread, but nice and buttery. The ice cream is nice. Nice work, John. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just got some hot dog. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Now the base is like a milk cream base. Sweet, just very, very neutral, lovely and rich. And then you get a little bit of the candied hot dog, which texturally, it's interesting. It's like a dried out hot dog, so it's got more of a kind of bite to it, but it's definitely smoky and it, Tastes like a hot dog, a little bit sweet. Wow. <laughs> it's strange. When you actually get the bite of the hot dog, it's a very familiar flavor in a very odd context. It's sweet, it's cold, it's bouncy, but it's clearly hot dog. <laughs> wow, that's odd. So the first couple bites, you may not get a hot dog piece. You're just like, oh, it's ice cream. And then you get a hot dog piece and you're like, oh yeah, that's this hot dog. Alrighty, let's try the other side, which is the spicy Dijon. Oh, no, oh. <laughs> no. And yeah, my reaction is very similar to the French's mustard ice cream very, very clearly and aggressively mustard. Mustard has a very strong flavor and it is very apparent here. The texture of the ice cream is nice. It's smooth and creamy and rich, but that flavor of mustard does not agree with me in terms of being in an ice cream. I can definitely taste a difference between my homemade version and the Dijon. The Dijon mustard has a Dijon flavor. It's a little bit whiny, it's a little bit subtler, it's not as sharp, and there's a little tiny, tiny bit of spice to it, but it's still very aggressively mustard flavored, and it kind of lasts in your mouth. It's it's still there. I'm surprised by the cookie. I thought the cookie, when I opened it because it fell apart, wouldn't kind of mesh into the sandwich, but it does. As you bite into it, it kind of softens, and it's a great delivery mechanism for ice cream just not mustard flavored ice cream and maybe not hot dog flavored ice cream. 
But this is a gimmick, of course, right? So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's not necessarily supposed to taste good. It's just an anomaly, a little fun thing to try. Alrighty, with that, let me grab my homemade version. Much larger in size than the original. Alrighty, let's give this a go. Let's do it in the same order. I'm gonna do the hot dog side first. Here we go. I'm so glad I got to taste the original because if you just use regular sugar cookie dough, it's way sweeter. You can really see and taste the difference. It tastes like a sugar cookie, but it's very, very sweet. I kind of think that works better. It kind of pushes it more towards dessert because you've got hot dogs in your ice cream. <laughs> it doesn't taste bun flavored though. It tastes like a sugar cookie, vanilla, sweet, slightly crisp buttery. The texture of this one's quite nice. It's almost cake-like when you bite into it, more like a traditional ice cream sandwich, while mine is more like a cookie. That's not bad. I think I might actually like it better. All right, let's try the mustard side. Here we go. Oh. Mm. So the DIY mustard flavor or the French's mustard recipe it's sweeter than the Laboratorio Gelato's version. So again, it is more dessert-like, but the flavor is distinctly yellow mustard. And in some sense, maybe that is more reminiscent of a hot dog, actually. When you think of just a typical hot dog, you think ketchup, yellow mustard. So in that sense, that might work better too. Dijon mustard seems a little bit more refined, but that kind of makes sense with the candied hot dog too. But it's candied hot dog after all, so how serious can we really be? <laughs> That's not a bad DIY version. Of course, the hot dog ice cream is not DIY. That's original. But for just something I just put together quickly, that's actually not bad. I like the fact that it's a little bit sweeter than the original. It makes it feel more dessert-like. Alrighty, let me grab the Lorna Dune version. Now these turned out really cute, don't you think? little matching squares of ice cream sandwich. Alrighty, again, I'm gonna try them in the same order. I think textually this is gonna be very different because these cookies are so much harder. Here we go. Mm. Not too bad. I actually like the contrast of textures there. Nice kind of crisp, buttery cookie. Although the cookie flavor is a little bit too strong too kind of buttery, too vanilla, too kind of toasted. It kind of takes away from the subtlety of the ice cream, even though this does contain hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this work, works as well. Although it looks very tidy. Oh, the mustard, I don't wanna eat. Okay, here we go. Mm. That cookie actually does a better job of holding up to the flavors of the mustard because the flavors are pretty strong in that cookie. So yeah, of the cookies, I think the Lorna Dune cookie actually holds up best with the mustard because it's got a really strong toasty, buttery flavor to it. So my opinions here are based on a certain context, the fact that I'm eating a mustard hot dog ice cream sandwich, but <laughs> I like the original. I feel like it's very refined and considered, even though the flavors are very strange and odd, because they are strange, they are odd. There's no getting around that. The homemade version made with the sugar cookie I like because I like the sweeter cookie. I feel like it makes it feel more dessert-like and more whimsical in the sense that it's just like a ice cream treat. It's not as fancy. The Lorna Dune I like the least, I think, but I feel like this cookie did stand up and pair well with the mustard ice cream because they're both very, very strongly flavored. So there you have it, my thoughts on the Oscar Mayer hot dog and mustard ice cream sandwich. Let me know down in the comments if you had a chance to taste the ice cream sandwich. Uh, if you would taste it, if you would make it, I wanna know. Big thanks to John for making this episode possible. Please check out my other videos I did about Laboratorio Gelato's beautiful ice creams. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.
got a lot of ice cream. Want some? Want some? Want some ice cream? Want some? Want some?